Happy New Year, everyone. Now, I know it's been a few weeks since we released the video, and it's just the last like month, month and a half have been just intense in terms of work schedule. The pandemic has made some production schedules, um, some challenges. Uh, we've had some family issues. It's been, it's been pretty busy, and we've also spent a lot of time kind of looking at the channel, restructuring, and kind of planning out what we're gonna do for this year. And because of these challenges and because of COVID, because of the, the, the limited production we've had, we've tried to get creative. I know last year we ventured out into quite a few topics. We looked at virtual reality. We did some art history videos. We started to delve into some other topics. And I just kind of wanted to take today to give you guys a really quick preview of what's coming up for this year and what we have scheduled. Now, the art history videos are something we're going to put a lot of focus on. You know, these are kind of our, our tent pole videos. People really seem to like these the most there's just quite a bit of work to put together. Now, we were very proud of how the history of Goju Ryu Karate came out last year. We got a great response from that. We had a great collaboration with that, and we want to carry that energy forward. So we've got several arts that are in production right now. They're in no particular order, and in some of them we're going to experiment a little bit with. The first one is uh, BJJ. Now this is a topic that we can't just do a one big episode on. Looking into the history of the art, we can see that there's actually quite a bit of meat and we don't think we can do it justice and there's just too much history and too much to talk about that you know, we don't think it's gonna fit in just one episode or two episodes or maybe just three episodes. This topic, along with a couple of others, such as Wing Chun, is another really good one, where there's so much meat, there's so many politics, there's so many lineages, there's a lot to look at that it's really hard to do in just a single episode. So instead, what we're going to try to do for topics such as those, instead of just trying to do a single history video, we're going to break them up into a lot of different bite-sized pieces. You know, we want to talk to people in the arts. We're going to do interviews. We're going to do, instead of just doing a history of, we're going to take pieces of it and we're going to present them. Maybe one video will look at lineages of the art or one video will look at the origin. Others will look at how it's practiced in one country versus another country, specific practitioners. We think there's a lot to explore and we want to do the topics justice. And we feel that for some certain arts that there's so vast and so robust and so highly politicized that it might be better of an approach to break them up into smaller topics and present them that way. And then that way we can have a little bit more, you know, focused and concentrated discussion on these topics. But that's not all we're working on. We also have a few in the works that are gonna follow the previous formats. The United States Army Martial Arts Program is definitely one that we're currently working on with an outline, and we hope to get that out soon, as well as the history of Capoeira. We have an outline, you know, a working draft in progress. It's still gonna take a while, but this is definitely topic one approach because we wanna kind of start adding more cultural arts to the mix. We've done a lot of karate and Japanese arts up to this point, so we definitely want to expand out. And we're still going to do some more of those. I'm not going to name them yet because we're kind of trying to decide trying to decide which ones to approach. We are going to take a look at a couple of arts this year that most of you probably have never even heard of. And we kind of like the idea that there's some obscure arts out there, for better, for worse, that might be fun to take a look at. So there's going to be some of that coming your way as well. And we're not just going to stop at the history. We want to also look at more of the cultural aspects, different practices, different perspectives. You know, there's, there's a whole world outside just the history of the arts themselves. You know, how they are practiced today, which arts are obscure, what people are finding useful. You know, there's a lot of topics we want to explore that incorporate the whole martial arts community, the global community as a whole. So we're going to do more experimentation in that. Interviews was something we delved into a little bit more in 2021, and that's definitely an avenue we want to go to a little bit more this year as well. There's a lot of people we want to talk to. There's a lot of topics we want to cover, and especially now with the pandemic and now everybody has Zoom and you know everyone's a little bit more accessible, we want to get more of that input. You know, we can, That way we can cover more topics, we can get more of a richer cultural history on certain aspects, maybe a little bit more of art history, more perspectives, a different global viewpoint. So we are working on some more of those. I can't really tell you right now who we're talking to, but we are in discussions with some early participants and um, I can't wait to bring these to you because there's a lot of people out there that we want to speak with. Also last year, we started to step into other aspects of the martial arts for a little bit more of a serious tone. You know, we talked about you know autism in the martial arts. We talked about, you know, we, we talked with Ian McLeod and, and his struggle with a traumatic brain injury and how, his, how the martial arts actually impacted him and helped him rehabilitate. There's a lot of aspects that we wanted to explore. So we've got more lifestyle and more serious tone videos coming as well. And we talked about abuse in the martial arts as well. So we got a great response and we think there's definitely more there to explore. We also have some fun topics coming your way. Again, we got experimental last year a little bit. Like for example, we took a look at virtual reality. Uh, I did a video, an episode that covered the thrill of the fight, which is a VR boxing game. I love this game. Um, I love VR personally, and I actually find a lot of the benefit to this game. 
No, it's not 100% real, like a real life fight or anything like that, but a program like this does actually help promote coordination. It helps uh, read your opponent response time. So I do feel there's a lot of value in that. And there's several VR games I want to go into. I'm kind of exploring right now. So we're going to intersperse those into the season as well, because I think that's like a pretty fun topic that not a lot of people are talking about is, you know, we are home alone sometimes. We can't always get out to the dojo. There are people training on their own. Is virtual reality a legitimate, not replacement, but a supplement? I think it is. So we're gonna bring some more of those topics to you a little bit this year as well. And then there's our Retro Dojo and Cine Dojo series as well. We like taking a look outside the general training grounds and we look at old media, whether it be from the 80s or even older, as well as martial arts and cinema. You know, we covered topics such as, you know, the Retro Dojo episode of the Kung Fu game from Nintendo Entertainment System and its other platforms, as well as different aspects in movies. You know, we talked about different behind the scenes, how certain movies approach martial arts, which, which movies had arts that were a great representation of those styles. So we think there's definitely a lot more to approach. But on this topic too, we want to know your feedback because sometimes we get mixed responses from these videos. So as far as retro material and movie material, what would you like us to cover? If there's any requests, please put them down in the description below. And as far as requests in general, um, you know, we're, we're, this, we're trying to be very flexible. We try to understand our audience. We, we really love talking with you guys. We'll be doing some more live streams as well. We're actually kind of working on a, more of a tighter format to do better presentations with you guys. But if there's anything specific you want to see, and not just specific arts because i know we get a lot of submissions for arts we're taking note of everything the art history ones we love doing they're a lot of work we can make them slower but not just that we want to see some other topics what avenues and aspects what have you seen us do in the past that you would like to see more of you know we're heavily going to consider a lot of different things this year um we're working on different seminars we're working on a lot i wish i could tell you everything that we have in progress right now it's just the year kind of got off to a slow start but we are very very excited to jump into this new season we are now starting our fourth or actually this is our season five our fifth year of art of one dojo and we couldn't have made it this far without you guys and we are absolutely chomping at the bit to bring you some more juicy stuff and try to take this channel in directions that is a little bit more unique to us and that we can bring you more beneficial topics and engage with you more and that way together we all grow as a community so i want to thank you all who have stuck with us this far if you're new to the channel absolutely welcome to us please take a look let me know what your favorite videos are and like i said all feedback just please feel free to share it down in the description below we read as many messages as possible and right now we're taking everything into consideration so i hope everybody had an absolutely wonderful new year's uh hopefully 2022 is prosperous and that we can bring a lot more productive topics and discussions and let's really kind of knock this martial arts world out of the ballpark together we can do it so thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time